So what's up guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be talking about the new Infinite Warfare update patch 1.10. But before we get into that, I'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And with all that being said guys, I hope you enjoy the video, have a very very good day and I'll catch you all later. Peace. So you've probably seen multiple videos saying that you should save your keys for the new update and I agree with that to a certain extent. For those of you that don't know, in the new update which is dropping on the 28th of February, the Tuesday, Infinity Ward announced that they'd be releasing brand new Quartermaster content like DLC weapons, a new epic gun variants and also nuke variants. I have multiple videos on them, you should go and check them out. And I've seen many videos of people saying that you you should save your keys until the update comes out. Now people that are saying that are trying to be smart and they are to a certain extent but they are also being dumb at the same time. Now we've all seen videos talking about how you should not spend your keys on the Mark II weapon bribe because it's a trap and Infinity Ward are trying to get you to spend all your keys so you can't get the new weapons. But saying to spend your keys when the new update comes out is you falling into another trap. People are only considering part of the update here. And people have only been focusing on the new weapon saying, oh yes, supply drops, we're going to get new weapons, save your keys, open supply drops, get the new weapons. And that's pretty much no different to blowing your keys before the update except the slight chance that you can get a new weapon. And by doing that, Infinity Ward have just played you the dream. You've got to think, do Infinity Ward have control over what they put in these supply drops because I definitely think they do and they can choose the weight of each weapon and each variant so that they can choose a certain amount of people that are going to get it. When this update drops they are not going to want the guns to be easy to get because if everyone can get them within a few supply drops they are not going to make any money off COD points which is one of the biggest sources of income for Activision nowadays. Like I mentioned a minute ago they can pretty much control what you get and when. And by spending all of your keys when the update drops is kind of a bit pointless because you're going to be wasting them all down the sh**. And yes, I do sense my swear words now because it's a bad habit. But like I mentioned, you are only focusing on part of the update. Yes, there's going to be new Quartermaster content, but that does not just mean weapons. I made videos on things like new weapon crates and new supply drops. Think logically here, if you save your keys and they decide to release an epic supply drop which costs about 400 keys, you've already wasted your keys because of the new update and you thought you were going to get something good out of the rare supply drops. Then after you've spent your keys on the rare supply drops, you realise you've got nothing and then you see this offer in the Quartermaster, what are you going to have to resort to buying? COD points is of course the answer. Patience is important in this situation and you have to play the developers at their own game. Infinity Ward already know lots of people have saved their keys so do you think they're going to release like an epic bribe straight away when the update comes out? Of course they're not, they're just going to try and drain your keys again like they did with the Mark II weapon bribe but people won't be able to spot it this time because it's such a sly move and people are so obsessed with getting the new guns. So let me sum this up for you guys, the new update's going to drop and lots of people have saved their keys. Infinity Ward are going to deliberately make the weapon weight and supply drops absolutely terrible so people are going to waste all of their keys and get nothing in return then they are going to bring out some sort of special supply drop which guarantees you a new weapon where you can spend your keys or cod points and since people have spent all their keys they're going to have to buy cod points to get them which makes activision lots and lots of money so if you have enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you could leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you made it this far comment ashley is a genius in in the comment section now nah, but on a real guys i don't want you guys wasting your money so if you save your keys you're gonna have more chance of getting these weapons in the long run patience will pay off this time so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoy the update when it drops or if you're watching this when it has dropped i hope you're enjoying it i hope you all have a really really good day and i'll catch you all later peace